This is the Virginia Death Chamber at the State Penitentiary in Richmond. Between 1908 and 1962, 234 men and one woman died in the electric chair. And now preparations are being made to execute Michael Smith, Alton Way, Morris Mason, Frank Coppola, James Clark Jr., Charles Stamper, Buddy Justice, and Joseph Girantano. All eight are waiting for their date with the chair at the maximum security prison in Mecklenburg. However, at one time, each of the condemned men has been housed just 50 feet from the chair. Well, initially, after the individual has been sentenced by the court, he is received at this institution. This was required by statute. He is taken directly to a basement in the area that we refer to as the death chamber. As the execution date approaches, the condemned man comes back to the death chamber. And of course, by statute, he's required to be returned to the penitentiary at least 15 days prior to date of execution. It's more or less the, the days of the final preparation. Although the state literally burns the prisoner with 2,500 volts of electricity, it isn't intended to be painful. Certainly we would try within the, our limits to make the, the situation as, as comfortable, if that's a fair statement, as possible. And we will try our very best to, to make that as pleasant as we can possibly do. The former head of the State Department of Corrections, W.K. Cunningham, Jr., is now with the State Parole Board. However, when the last execution was carried out in 1962, he was superintendent of the penitentiary and has seen three men die in the chair. I, I certainly wasn't uh, comfortable, wasn't happy about it at all. It wasn't pleasant, but it was something that had to be done. Although Cunningham believes there are certain crimes worthy of capital punishment, he would prefer to see another method used, such as the lethal injection of a drug. I think it would be better to work instantaneously and uh, be, I think, more humane. I think generally the electric chair is no more effective than some other systems and probably uh, a better system of execution could be devised. But for the eight men currently on death row, the odds are they will die in the chair. Well, it's not something I look forward to. I don't think any of us look forward, but we have that responsibility. It's ordered by the court, and we are certainly going to carry out the sentence if it's ordered by the court. In our next report, what actually happens the night a man is executed? Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News, Richmond. In our first report on the Virginia electric chair, we told you that eight men are currently waiting in the maximum security prison in Mecklenburg for their date with the chair. Fifteen days before the execution, the condemned man is transferred to the death chamber cell block here at the state penitentiary in Richmond. If more than one prisoner is in this block, the man next in line to die in the chair is put in cell one, where you can see a television and keep a close eye on the clock as the time draws near. On the night of the execution, about 10 minutes before the designated time, three guards will come to this cell and escort the condemned man to the execution chamber, just 50 feet away. Three prisoners made this walk and died in the chair when W.K. Cunningham was superintendent of the prison. He was there when the last execution was carried out in 1962 and says the condemned men didn't scream and yell and their state of mind was good as they walked the final 50 feet. As far as I could tell, uh, generally reconciled to what was going to happen, not uh, rebellious or anything like that. I think by the time the execution was to take place, they had pretty well become reconciled to the idea. In preparation for the executions now scheduled, the state has picked two nine-men teams. Each team member has a Pacific assignment. That is, the, the very straps, the rest of the arms are strapped, the legs are strapped, um, the face mask is, is placed on the individual, and the, the head piece and the leg piece is placed on the individual by the team members, and from there the uh, controls are connected. The um, convicted man's head is shaved? Only uh, if it's necessary to uh, provide a, uh, to remove enough hair to where the necessary equipment could be fixed. 
2,500 volts of electricity flow through the condemned prisoner from two points. Well, there's two terminals. There's a lower terminal and an upper terminal. And, of course, this is fixed from the head to the ankle. It takes two switches to activate the chair, one just five feet in front of the prisoner and the other behind a door about five feet behind the chair. An appointed individual by the director would, of course, be responsible to activating the control panel at the designated time from the off position to the ready position, and at which time then the equipment is uh, placed into operation. Death in the chair is not instantaneous nor pleasant and sterile. It usually takes a couple of minutes before the 2,500 volts do the job, and it leaves a frightening impression on anyone who's witnessed an execution. The night before an execution, did you have a rough time sleeping? No, uh, not the night before an execution. I did have trouble sleeping the night after an execution. Always? Always. Mike Deason, Area 10 Eyewitness News. Richmond.